Welcome back to The Clown Show. We are finally wrapping up an eight-race series with the PCA Sim Racing Summer Interim Series hosted by the Wild West Zones. Tonight we are at Indianapolis on an oval. Yes, an oval. And it's an interesting race because we are actually combining all classes together. So everybody's going to be racing in the same race and uh, having a good fun time. So you'll see your favorite from the pro class, from the club class, from the challenge class, as well as the people you've been seeing in my videos uh, thus far this season from PCA Sport class. So that'll be a lot of fun. So a lot more cars on track all together. Um, it's also a longer race. It's a 75 minute race. Um, we actually, we have two hour windows that we've set up for these races. And typically there is an hour, hour and 10 minutes worth of practice and, and qualifying, either open qualifying for, you know, up to 15, 20 minutes um, or loan qualifying for 10 minutes, three laps, and then a race of varying lengths, longest of which so far has been a 40 minute race. Um, Tonight, we're doing a 75-minute race. So in order to keep everything packaged up, we're doing 45 minutes of open qualification, zero practice. So your qualifying is your practice. And then the 75-minute race, we are limited at 40% fuel, which is 12.7 gallons. So um, we're going to get a lot of laps in, um, and we're going to have a lot of pit stops throughout the night. So the race is going to shuffle back and forth. Uh, the really interesting thing about oval racing is, unlike... Road racing, where you start's almost unimportant. You have to mentally think about oval racing in terms of how you want to finish. Putting yourself in position to be able to attack at the end is really the whole objective. So you can start further back. As long as you have a nice, clean race, keep your, yourself in the going on the lead lap, last few laps, you can make a run. And so oval racing is a little bit of a different uh, different thing. So you'll see me do some interesting stuff tonight. Um, I actually like to focus on fuel strategy. So I'm going to try to elongate the use of fuel in my tank. So cautions, I'll be up in high gears, keeping things uh, uh, as fuel efficient as possible until the restart. And then I'll be using a lot of drafting. And even though I'll have opportunity to Pass cars because I'll be in the draft. I may not always choose to overtake just because I want to stay in that draft and optimize my fuel consumption. That's my strategy. So we'll see how I do. Now, obviously, in the heat of battle, a lot of uh, those plans that you make in your head before a race go get thrown out the window. You find yourself side by side with somebody like, you know, Jim Huth or Rob Cottle or Rodney Campbell and sense just goes out the window and you try to beat them um, as best you can um, and uh, see what happens. So we'll see how it goes. It should be a spirited race. There are a lot of fun personalities in this one. Um, this whole week we've done a lot of practice races. So we did our Monday night EDE, but we've actually done Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday nights um, as well, uh, getting on track, getting laps in, getting some practice and draft and traffic. Um, and it's been a hoot. This week has been actually probably the most fun of the entire eight-week series because it's it's been a lot of camaraderie and a lot of uh, learning. A lot of people that have never raced on ovals before getting their their feet wet in this this particular type of racing. So it's been a lot of fun. So tonight's finale really isn't necessarily about the points in the same context as some of the other races have been. It's more about having a good time, hooting and hollering, and uh, um, enjoying each other's company on something that's a little bit unorthodox. Porsche on an oval. Let's get to it. Okay, qualified P15. All right, good luck everybody, of, uh, keep it clean. Remember when we're going around the ovals here, it's very important to try and keep, the, hold your lines. Don't zig, don't zag. Uh, try and hold your line, be smooth. Uh, so you <laughs> details, don't uh, end up getting into somebody. A lot of close quarter <laughs> racing here. So it uh, looks like a field of 25 cars. I qualified P15, but as I said earlier, it doesn't really matter. What I'm probably going to try to do is when there's a caution, um, we'll try to cut that out of the video, um, unless there's something interesting that happens, and I can kind of determine that as we go through. But I think for the I'll most part, we'll just Ricky keep the Bobby, video as short as possible. First or your last. Okay, Chip, let's get this right. No fuck ups. Green, green, green. Look 
You've got a car high. Hold your line. Clear high. You've got a car on the outside. Hold your line. Still there. Clear high. Inside. Got a full Did course caution. Watch out. Oh, that didn't take long. side. B-17. Car high. Hold your line. Still there. Clear outside. On the outside. Hold your line. You're three wide. You're on the bottom. Clear high. Car high. Still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. You clear high. Car outside. You clear outside. Hold your line. Still there. Still there. Still there. Clear outside. Full course caution, be careful. It's closed. Base car is out. Line up single file behind car 3053. B-15. You're clear outside. We've got a car on the outside. Be careful, we've got a full course caution. Ace car is out. Line up single file behind car number 72. Clear 
We've got a car on the inside. Hold your line. 15th place. Hold your line. Hold your line. You're clear inside. 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 Still there. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Inside clear. Car low. Still there. Clear inside. On the outside. Hold your line. 16th place. Still there. Hold your line. You're clear high. Car high. You're clear high. That was Car high. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. With three wide, you're on the inside. Yeah, outside. I'm not sure what you're doing. Clear outside. On the outside. Hold your line. You're in the middle. Three wide. Clear all around. I'm kidding. Inside. Clear low. Got a car high. Still there. Still there. Still there. You clear outside. Car outside. Clear high. Car inside. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear low.
No caution. Full course caution. Watch out. Ah. Not again! Guys, take it easy. It's still 70 laps left, or 60 laps. Got a pit. I got a black flag. Step one on. That new Gary? Do you have the black flag? Yeah. Apparently, I passed under the yellow last time I went in the pits. Yeah, you can't dive down and pass the cars on the track to go into the pit. E4. Gain the pace and not pass the play. Yeah, that's what I did, rookie mistake. Car low. Hold your line. Inside clear.
full course caution. <laughs> yes! Race cars out. Line up single file behind car number nine. We're under caution. It's closed. We're racing. Inside. Clear inside. B12. Car inside. Clear low. We've got a car on the inside. Clear low. Car low. Hold your line. Clear inside. You've got a car low. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. You're clear inside. Car low. Clear low. Inside. Still there. Still there. You're clear inside. Outside. Still there. Clear high. B11. Hold your line. Still there. Pretty aggressive, Walter. Hold your line, please. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear low.
got a car on the outside. Hold your line. Stay outside. Be careful, we've got a full course caution. That was scary. Green, green, let's go. You've got a car on the outside. Eighth place. Still there. Still there. You clear outside. We've got a car high. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. You clear high. There's a car on your inside. Still there. Hold your line. Inside clear. Hold your line, Julian. Inside. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Clear low. We've got a car low. Still there. Clear low. Car high. P9. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Clear high. Car outside. Hold your line. You clear outside. In. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Box in 1800 feet. We think we'll need to stop again. They're yeah, checking up right away here for pace car. Carlo, you're in the middle, three wide. You clear inside, clear all round. On the outside, you clear high. Just so you know, guys, I still have to serve a penalty, so I'm going into the pits. Car high. I'm going Hold in your line. You. Clear high. Car high. You clear high. P11. Watch your 
what's your speed? Box in 1800 feet. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Three hundred feet. One hundred feet. Exit's clear. Push. A little early in the race, guys, we're blocked down here. Take it easy. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 4.9 seconds. Save that for the last couple of laps. No one's going anywhere when they get in front. We just sit there and walk up. Randall, you're crazy, man. I got the trap. Full course caution. Watch out. Green flag, we're racing. V7. Outside. Still there. Hold your line. You're clear outside. Sixth place.
Car high. Clear high. Low. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Got a car on the inside. Hold your line. Hold your line. Heads up, there's a car rejoining. Hold your line. Still there. Seventh position. Outside, we're three wide. Clear inside. Carlo. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Clear low. Inside. Hold your line. Clear low. B11. Car inside. Clear inside. You've got a car low. Clear inside. Car inside. You're clear inside. You've got a full course caution. Watch out.
Rogers is leading the race. I'm pitting in you guys, so be careful behind the organ. That. Track's clear. Push, push, push. Come on, Jet. Push, push, push. We can catch this car. Be careful, we've got a full course caution. Let's go. P15. Car high. Full course caution. Watch out. Oh. His wow, car is out. <laughs> Line up single file behind car number 13. We're under caution. Pits are closed. We're racing. Car high. You clear outside. 14th. On the outside. Clear outside. Car low. Hold your line. You're clear inside. One gallon remaining. We've got a full course caution. Watch out. Oh, that's good. So if we re do we get back to the same position? Sorry, I said again. Uh, if we refuel during the yellow, do we get back to the same position? 15th place. There's the checkered flag. No, the race is over, so uh, you'll end up in the position you are when you pass the start finish line. Pretty certain that if you were to uh, objectively look at that race, you could consider it a real disappointment. Um, I had what I thought was a pretty decent car that I uh, thought should have finished fairly well. Unfortunately, you can't always control those sorts of things uh, as you're in the middle of a race, but it was fun having all the 
the classes together in the same race, um, seeing everybody and uh, having a good a good turnout on on grid for that race. There were 25 total cars um, split across all four classes. Um, we had four participants in pro and uh, the way it actually stacked out for pro, um, Rodney Campbell, of course, uh, being the oval aficionado that he seems to be, uh, finished first. Um, he got the pole position as well, although uh, Jim Huth managed to pull out the fastest lap of the pros, which is pretty impressive uh, with a 51.970. Um, fast laps around ovals typically are, especially with equal equally set up cars, are likely due to just uh, good use of draft and knowing how to drive the right line. And uh, Jim probably got help in both areas and did quite well. He was actually, I think, a full lap down at one point in the race and wound up getting a lucky dog uh, to get him back on the lead lap. And then uh, he managed to work his way back up to um, uh, finish quite well um, in terms of the pro uh, overall. Um, and uh, as far as the club guys went, uh, Mike Knighton joined us for the first time this summer. Great to see Mike out on track again, and uh, he came out and took top top uh, step for the club class in the race, and uh, Rob Cottle came in second, um, and that becomes important, important in just a second. Um, so pretty well attended by the club. This is actually the first time um, uh, this summer, one of our events, that the club class came out with a greater showing than any of the other classes, which uh, is great. Good to see nine folks uh, out there. Um, Booting it up and uh, and getting it done. So thank you all for coming out. Um, and then in the sport class, um, Carl had a great showing tonight, um, taking the top step. Keith Morgan, um, he and I um, had that incident that essentially um, I was out of fast repairs and was badly enough damaged that uh, it really took me out of the race because I had to um, sit and uh, take repairs to keep from crabbing. Um, the car was just really, really messed up after that that incident, um, and uh, did my best to to stay as close to the lead lap when hopes that maybe I could get things worked out and could get back uh, back on the lead lap again. And it just it didn't work out. I got caught up in another incident, and it just it was one thing after another. Um, but I did manage to get fourth in class, which you know I'll take it. Uh, better better that than anything worse. Um, David Palmer, who was in first in sport coming into this race, um, had his worst race of the series. Um, so this means that this was probably his drop race. And um, so it uh, didn't really affect him all that much. Um, but uh, but it was was opportunity for me to make some points up on him. And I failed to really capitalize on that, which is a little bit disappointing. Challenge class. Um, a name that I actually, I, I, I failed to recognize. He's been actually participating in the races all summer long. Uh, Maximilian Bianco um, took top step for the uh, challenge class tonight where Scott Rogers uh, performed well as he usually uh, does. Um, and David Purdy took the third step uh, for, for challenge. So good night all in all. So what does that mean in terms of um, the overall results? Uh, really exciting, at least I think it's exciting. Um, if we actually blow this up a little so we can actually see it. Um, we had a tie in terms of points between uh, Rick Reinsberg and Julian Velez um, for 392 points. Rodney Campbell, Campbell came in uh, a solid third with 388. Great performance by everybody. Um, when there's a tie for points in a series, the series comes to a conclusion. There are a series of things that we look at to determine who wins the tie. And this is actually something that's written out in the uh, iRacing sporting code, and I think we just leverage it. Um, and the way that this breaks out is that uh, championship points tiebreaker, in these cases, ties will be broken in the following order. Wins. The driver who has the most wins will be awarded the position. Well, neither one of them actually won a race. They just did well, got bonus points, and wound up being the top of the stack. Top five finishes. The driver with the most top five finishes will be awarded the position. Both had five. Okay. Next. Average finish. The driver with the better finishing average will be awarded the position. And when you averaged out their finishing positions, it was the exact same for both of them, 5.286. Okay. What next? Least number of incidents. This is why we drive clean races, boys and girls. 
The driver with the least amount of incidents will be rewarded the position. Rick had 38 incident points. Julian had 45. Rick wins the tiebreaker going four deep on the tiebreaker. If they had been even there, it would have been the number of laps led. We didn't have to do that calculation, so I don't know what it is, but that's pretty impressive. Um, you know, not only have a tie, but to have a tie that we had to go through four levels deep to, uh, to break it. So congratulations to both Rick and Julian. Um, great driving. Um, thank you for joining the series and uh, being such uh, stellar examples. And Rick, congratulations for gritting it out with uh, clean racing. So that's awesome. Um, if we look at the club standings, um, Rob Cottle took the top step with 407 and a half. One and a half points better than Randall Ayers, which good to see him up um, in second place. And then Gary Rice, um, um, 398. So congratulations to the three of them. And for sport, David Palmer, as we said earlier, um, he was just too far ahead to, to get up there. And as I said, this race tonight was his drop um, and just stellar performance all the way throughout uh, 427 points. Um, I did okay. Um, I had two fourth place finishes to round out my season. So just not the strong finish that I had hoped for. Um, I really thought that I was going to do better than fourth tonight in class. And uh, it, I'm a little disappointed, a little frustrated with that, but it is what it is. Um, but I still held on to second place. And then uh, Carl jumped up, I believe. I think that he was in fourth. Maybe he was in third last time. I, I know it was really close between he and Volker, um, and uh, he edged out Volker by one little point. So um, good on Carl. Um, congratulations uh, to, to David and Carl on that count. And then, of course, in challenge, Scott Rogers. 419 points so stood head and shoulders um, he was pretty consistent throughout the entire series and uh, did another uh, good performance tonight coming in second doing doing really well um Ankerberg Sohn second place congratulations and Maximilian Bianco he like said I I don't know why I I overlooked his name um before tonight but you know winning for for challenge and then winding up on the series podium um very happy to uh to have him in the series so welcome max i'm sorry i didn't notice your name before um congratulations on rounding out that challenge podium so that's pretty exciting um if you visit um pca sim racing um and go to um to zone groups to zone group uh six seven eight nine eleven and fourteen you can actually see the detailed results of course we have our congratulations to our um, class winners for the series you can download a pdf of the full series standings the final series standings and you can go back and look through all of the races to see each one the finishing positions the official results and if you have an iRacing account, you should be able to also look at the official iRacing sessions and see the various laps and stuff if you wanted to drill in. We'll leave these up um, at least until um, we get into prepping for the Zone Group Challenge. Um, we'll leave these results up so people can actually see them and check them out. Um, and uh, eventually they will get cleaned off the site um, and make room for some other stuff that we have coming up uh, with Zone Challenge. Um, races that are scheduled, I believe, to begin in December or January timeframe. Um, so um, we'll we'll make room for that series next. Um, series seven in PCA Sim Racing will be coming up before that. Um, so this will be up for a while, so you can reference it, take a look at it, um, dig into it, and and see who you're competing against in your series seven um, classes. So uh, I think that that's it. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope that uh, if you enjoyed this video, this content, this series, um, that you will uh, click on like. And uh, if you want to be notified of future videos, just uh, please subscribe. Thank you so much and uh, take care. Spaß machen,